I'm going to tell you about the zinc carbon battery. It's uh, a battery that uh, consists of an outer steel case and uh, inside that there's a paper or sometimes plastic separator keeps the battery from short circuiting. There's the inner zinc can and then inside the zinc can is the uh, electrolyte and uh, at the center of that is uh, the carbon rod. It's called zinc carbon because it uses zinc and carbon. The electrolyte is a mixture of manganese dioxide, uh, zinc chloride, and ammonium chloride. It's uh, acidic. You know you have a zinc carbon battery because it'll say either heavy duty, super duty, zinc carbon, or carbon zinc somewhere on the case. If it says alkaline or lithium or anything else, it is not a zinc carbon battery. Uh, what powers the battery is the, the zinc is uh, slowly oxidized in a reaction that uh, produces electrons. The purpose of the carbon rod is simply to gather the electrons to send them out into the electrical circuit. The carbon rod is not consumed in the reaction at all. But the zinc can, however, is consumed, which is hence why you need the steel case, because otherwise the battery would fall apart when it reached the end of its life. Uh, these type of batteries are good for uh, low drain applications, such as a flashlight. They're not particularly good for high drain applications, like uh, the camera I'm recording this on, and stuff like that. They're uh, the one of the cheapest kinds of batteries you can get. I mean, you can get these things at dollar stores. They're ridiculously cheap. But uh, they don't have the energy density of uh, alkalines or uh, lithium cells. And that's a little bit about uh, the zinc carbon battery.